Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. Which of the following statements is true regarding receptacle installations under sinks? The first option was receptacles can be installed in the face of position under sinks as long as they are GFCI protected. The second option was receptacles shall not be installed in a face of position in the area below a sink. Receptacles can be installed in any position under sinks if they are in weatherproof enclosures. And receptacles must be installed horizontally in the area below a sink. And the correct answer is receptacles shall not be installed in the face-up position in the area below a sink. And of course, this is what we're talking about here. And for this one, we're going to head to 406.5 G2. And we are going to take a look at this. And this is what we're talking about. Underneath a sink, if you're doing your garbage disposal or if you're doing your dishwasher, you are no longer allowed to, I think it's 2017 and later, you are no longer allowed to install those receptacles in the face-up position underneath a sink, which makes perfect sense. They've expanded the allowances of installing them face up in countertops and work surfaces as long as they are listed for countertops and work surfaces. But when it comes to under the sink, it's one of the areas where it is prohibited. And I have actually done this in the past, believe it or not. Let's imagine that you're at a house and you are doing, and this would have been on 08 code cycle or the 11, but you're at a customer's house and there's an old nasty crawl space and they want to add a dishwasher or disposal you just go straight in that underneath that cupboard, drill a hole straight down through the cupboard, through the floor, fish your wire down through there, pop up into a four square box and have that four square box be mounted just directly to the floor and plug it right in. Now kind of an old school way of doing it, but I have done it in the past. Of course, since 17 and later, we've not been allowed to do that, so I've not done anything like that since. But, and, you know, there's lots of ways around this code. And I understand the driver behind this one because, yes, in this case, for one, this GFCI is not in a readily accessible location if it's at the back of the cupboard, in my opinion. But for two, yes, it would trip the GFCI, so it would kill the load side of the GFCI, but you still have hot conductors likely inside of that box, depending on how it was wired. So if you've got water running down in there, yes, you've tripped the GFCI, but you're also creating a bowl for that water to set in, which could potentially leak back up the individual or onto the equipment that it is leaking from. So I understand this code makes a lot of sense to me. Just wanted to cover it today. I hope you guys are having a great week. If there's anything I can do to help you, you can always just shoot me a text or email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.